I'm Eric Williams. I'm a mechanical engineering intern, but mostly what I do is electrical technician work on the Grace consoles. So this is the new console that we're bringing to DEF CON. Last year we brought steering and propulsion and navigation. This is the ballast Grace console. So a ballast is a water tank that's used to control weight levels in a ship. Um, essentially, when you fill one with water, it brings more mass to one side of a ship and you can balance your load. Um, the idea behind this is that if you really mess up a ballast system, you could potentially sink a ship. So essentially, we have a series of valves and pumps that are programmed to move water into these tanks and out of these tanks. Um, hackers can go in and break the system to fill up different tanks as you may or may not want them to be. We've been pushing really hard to get this finished so that we can take it to DEF CON and get it hacked. Lately we've been in crunch time just getting all of the wires together for the PCB and the DIN rail in the back with all the PLCs. We have around 100, and 100 plus wires that need to go into these programmable logic controllers that all run into this PCB box here. These are the programmable logic controllers. Um, they're not fully wired up. This set still needs to be done, but then after that, that's going to be last stuff. Um, essentially, all of these wires run along into these connectors, which run into the PCB. You have PLC connectors here and here. So all of the information feeds you know, in here and then goes around a big circuit all over and then feeds out to those valves here and to the pumps here. Reed designed this circuit board and then we sent it off to be fabricated. And then it was brought back as a blank slate, which we put all of these components onto, and these as well. It, it is definitely very complex, and there's lots to think about in order to make everything look nice. I'd say the main skill that I've learned is soldering. Um, Terry was great with training us. I feel like I knew nothing before I came here, even though I had soldered before. Um, I know a lot more now and can make things much more reliable and nicer. So I think one of the most interesting things about this is how many electrical components go into it. You know, I didn't really expect that a system that, you know, fills four tanks would be as complicated as it is. Um, but, you know, it makes sense since water has to move between all four tanks completely dynamically. It has to be able to move in any direction and that's where you meet a lot of complication. Well, I'm gonna get back to it and finish wiring this up so that we can get it tested and ready for DEF CON.